Before he was an NHL All-Star and MVP, Taylor Hall established his hockey potential as a junior star with the Windsor Spitfires in the Ontario Hockey League. By the time his three-year OHL career was complete, Hall had filled up his trophy case with countless awards and trophies and had established himself as a top draft eligible player for the 2010 NHL entry draft. The Edmonton Oilers used the first pick in that draft to take the speedy scoring star and looked to him to turn around the fate of their franchise. Hall was born on November 14, 1991 in Calgary, Alberta. His father, Steve, was a receiver in the Canadian Football League in the mid-80s and had a huge impact on the development of his son. Steve, who also competed with the Canadian bobsleigh team, built a backyard rink at their home in Calgary to get Taylor started on the fundamentals of hockey at a young age. In 2005, the Hall family moved east to Kingston, Ontario, and as a 13-year-old, Taylor was already drawing attention from OHL scouts. In his minor midget year, Hall scored 44 goals and 85 points in 29 games with Greater Kingston AAA. OHL Chief Scout Rob Kitamira called Hall an extremely skilled player that also happens to be one of the best skaters in this age group. He has a smooth yet explosive stride, possesses speed and quickness, and is always moving his feet. Hall also has the ability to make plays while in full flight. He's always playing the game at his top speed, which opens up space for himself and his teammates. The Spitfires agreed with that assessment and GM Warren Reichel used the second overall pick to claim Hall. Ryan O'Reilly was the top pick in the OHL draft going first to the Erie Otters. It didn't take long for Hall to start paying dividends as a top pick. In his rookie season, he led the Spitfires with 45 goals and finished with 84 points in 63 games as a 15 year old. He set a new Windsor team record for most goals by a rookie and went on to win both the OHL and CHL Rookie of the Year awards. That winter, Hall scored four goals and eight points in five games to help Ontario win the gold medal at the World Under-17s in London, Ontario. He scored the winning goal and added an assist in a 3-0 win over the USA in the gold medal game. After his sensational rookie season, Hall and the Spitfires were anxious to see what he would do for an encore. Early that season, the Spitfires closed the Windsor Arena, their home since the 70s, and opened the brand new WFCU Center in nearby Tecumseh. Locals filled the building to watch Hall and his emerging team of young stars. Hall, along with teammates Adam Henrique, Greg Nemes, Justin Shug, and Eric Wellwood jumped out to their best ever record, finishing the year with 57 wins and 11 losses for 115 points and first place in the OHL standings. Hall led the Spits in scoring with 38 goals and 90 points in 63 games, finishing one point ahead of rookie teammate Ryan Ellis. Early in the new year, tragedy struck for the surging Spitfires when Captain Mickey Renault died suddenly from an undetected heart condition. The Spitfires postponed two games following his death and retired Renault's number 18. They also included his number in the shoulder patch of the Spitfires' new jersey design the following season. Determined to finish what they started, the Spitfires roared through the OHL playoffs with series wins over the Owen Sound Attack, Plymouth Whalers, and London Knights before a 4-1 win over the Brampton Battalion in the OHL Championship Series. Hall scored 16 goals and 36 points in 20 playoff games and won the Wayne Gretzky 99 award as the MVP of the OHL playoffs. Earlier that season, Hall helped Canada win the World Under-18 Hockey Championships with four goals and nine points in seven games. By winning the Robertson Cup as OHL champions, the Spitfires secured a berth in the 2009 Memorial Cup in Rimouski, Quebec. The Spitfires were favored to win the national championship tournament, but stumbled in their first game, falling 3-2 in overtime to the Quebec League champion Drummondville Voltagers. The next day, Windsor lost to the host Ramouski Oceanic by a score of 5-4 and were on the verge of being eliminated from the tournament. The Spitfires would face the Western League champion Kelowna Rockets in their final round-robin game of the tournament. Kelowna already had a bye of the championship game after jumping out to early wins against the two Quebec teams. The final round robin game meant little to the Rockets, but the Ontario Hockey League champs were desperate for a win to keep their hopes alive. Defenseman Ryan Ellis scored early in the third period and the Spitfires held on for a narrow 2-1 win that gave the Spitfires their first win in the tournament and some life. Next, they beat out the host Oceanic with a 6-4 win in the tiebreaker game, and then knocked off the Voltageurs with a 3-2 overtime win in the semifinal to set up their berth in the final and a rematch with the WHL champs. 
The Spitfire stormed out of the gate in the championship game, scoring on their first three shots of the game, en route to a 4-1 win over the Rockets to win their first ever national championship. We got a little fortunate early, Spitfire's coach Bob Bugner said after the game. We had a couple of goals go in that maybe weren't great goals. Kelowna kept fighting back, but we played that smothering style and put a blanket on them. The Spitfires made history at that tournament by becoming the first team ever to win the championship game after losing their first two games of the event and the first to win the tournament after playing in a tiebreaker game. Taylor Hall came into the tournament as a highly touted scorer that was still a year away from the NHL draft and enjoyed a strong tournament with two goals and eight points in six games. He won the Stafford Smythe Memorial Trophy as the most valuable player of the tournament. Hall and Ellis were also named to the tournament all-star team. Hall helped Canada win under 18 gold again that summer at the Ivan Holenka tournament and came into his third OHL season with sky-high expectations once again. Hall and the Spitfires had their sights set on winning OHL and Memorial Cup championships again, but he also had other goals along the way. Hall was named to Canada's squad at the World Junior Championships to be held in Saskatchewan that Christmas. Canada had won a record five straight gold medals and were looking for a sixth on home ice. Hall scored six goals and 12 points in six games for Canada, but they lost 6-5 in overtime to the United States in the gold medal game. Despite being Canada's only draft eligible player, Hall finished second to Jordan Eberle for the team scoring lead. Next up for Hall was the CHL Top Prospects game to be played on home ice in Windsor. Hall captain Team Cherry and was named player of the game in the annual showcase of the top draft eligible players. He also competed in the 2010 OHL All-Star Classic for the Western Conference All-Stars and appeared in the Subway Super Series for Team OHL. In his draft year, Hall led the Spits again with 40 goals and 106 points in 57 games. He tied for the OHL scoring lead with Tyler Sagan of the Plymouth Whalers, who edged Hall as the top-rated prospect for the upcoming NHL draft in Los Angeles. Hall was recognized that season by Western Conference coaches as being the best skater and being the most dangerous in the goal area. Hall also captured OHL Player of the Month honors for October and was twice named the CHL Player of the Week. As a defending OHL champions, the Spitfires were favored to repeat. They finished second in the OHL with 50 wins and 106 points and roared out of the gate in the playoffs with four game sweeps over the Erie Otters and Plymouth Whalers. They were the favorites again when they faced the Kitchener Rangers in the Western Conference Final, but the Rangers grabbed the first three games of the series. Jeff Skinner was leading the way for the Rangers and giving the Spitfire defenders fits. With the Spitfires facing elimination in Game 4 of the Odd in Kitchener, Hall scored the winning goal late in the third period to lift the Spitfires to a 7-5 win and keep them alive in the series. Hall opened the scoring and added an assist in a 3-0 win for the Spitfires in Game 5. The following night, Hall opened the scoring again and added another goal to lift the Spits to a 6-4 win in Kitchener that forced Game 7 in Windsor. Hall set up Adam Henrique for the opening goal in the first period of Game 7 that pushed the Spitfires to a 4-1 win clinch the series and send them to the OHL final against the regular season champion Barry Colts. Hall scored the overtime winning goal in game one of the OHL final that helped the Spitfires to a four game sweep over Barry. Hall finished with 17 goals and 35 points in 19 playoff games. It was the second straight year that he led all OHL playoff scorers. The 2010 Memorial Cup opened and closed the same way, with the OHL champion Spitfires scoring decisive victories over the host Brandon Wheat Kings. The defending champion Spitfires got the 2010 event started with a 9-3 victory over Brandon. Nine days later, the outcome was virtually the same as Windsor posted a 9-1 victory over Brandon in the championship game. Along the way, the Spitfires didn't do anything to dent their claim as the CHL's top team. They were 3-0 in round robin, outscoring the opposition 19-8, None of the other four teams, including the WHL champion Calgary Hitmen and Quebec League champion Moncton Wildcats, scored as many goals or surrendered fewer. However, the Spitfires didn't win at all without surviving a real scare in the opening game's early moments, when Hall, the tournament MVP in 2009, went awkwardly into the end boards and looked to be seriously hurt. Hall was chasing a puck into the Brandon zone when he was bumped by Wheat Kings defenseman Travis Hamannick. Hall emerged with a bloody nose and a cut to his forehead, but bounced back to score two of Windsor's five first period goals. Hall had a goal and two assists in the championship game and was named the tournament's MVP after leading the way with five goals and nine points. He's the first player in Memorial Cup history to win the MVP award twice. One month after his junior career ended with a second Memorial Cup championship, Hall was in Los Angeles as a top rated prospect for the NHL entry draft. After months of speculation over who would go first, Taylor, or Tyler, Sagan of the Plymouth Whalers, the Edmonton Oilers picked Hall. 
It was yet another accolade to add to Hall's growing resume as a young hockey star. In his first nine seasons, Hall played in five NHL All-Star games and won the Hart Memorial Trophy as the NHL's MVP in 2018 while with the New Jersey Devils. Later that year, Hall returned to Windsor as the Spitfires raised his number four jersey to the rafters. 